Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to carry out momentum calculations involving an event such as the collision of two objects. And this is for triple physics students only. In the last video we started looking at momentum. We calculate momentum using this equation. Momentum equals the mass multiplied by the velocity. Remember that in a closed system the total momentum before an event is equal to the total momentum after an event. In other words, momentum is always conserved. So in this video, we're going to use the conservation of momentum to carry out calculations involving an event such as a collision. Here's a sample question. A van with a mass of 2,000 kilograms is traveling at 30 meters per second. It collides with a stationary car with a mass of 800 kilograms. Both the van and the car continue moving together. Calculate the velocity of the van and the car together. So to start, we need to calculate the total momentum of both the van and the car before the collision. We're going to start with the van. Remember that momentum equals the mass multiplied by the velocity. The mass of the van is 2000 kilograms and the velocity is 30 meters per second. That gives us a momentum of 60,000 kilograms meter per second for the van. Looking at the car, we can see that the car is stationary. That means that the momentum of the car is zero. So the total momentum of both the van and the car before the collision is 60,000 kilograms meter per second. As we saw before, momentum is always conserved. So that means that the total momentum of the van and the car after the collision is also 60,000 kilograms meter per second. We can use this to calculate the velocity of the van and the car together. Remember that momentum equals the mass multiplied by the velocity. That means that the velocity equals the momentum divided by the mass. The momentum after the collision is 60,000 kilograms meter per second, and the total mass of both the van and the car is 2,800 kilograms. Putting these into the equation gives us a velocity of the car and the van combined of 21.4 meters per second to one decimal place. Here's a question for you to try. A van with a mass of 1,400 kilograms is traveling at 20 meters per second. The van collides with a stationary car with a mass of 1,000 kilograms. Both the van and the car continue moving together. Calculate the velocity of the van and the car together. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, we start by calculating the total momentum of the van and the car before the collision. The mass of the van is 1,400 kilograms and the velocity is 20 meters per second. This gives us a value of 28,000 kilograms meter per second for the momentum of the van. The car is stationary, so it has a momentum of zero. That means that the total momentum of both the van and the car before the collision is 28,000 kilograms meter per second. Remember that momentum is always conserved, so that means that the total momentum of the van and the car after the collision is also 28,000 kilograms meter per second. To calculate the velocity, we divide the momentum by the total mass of the van and the car. The momentum is 28,000 kilograms meter per second, and the combined mass is 2,400 kilograms. This gives us a velocity of 11.67 meters per second to two decimal places. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on calculations involving momentum in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.